To do this project, you're going to need three different colored yarns and a toy shovel from Dollar Tree. I removed the screw from the bottom of the shovel where the plastic part is attached and then you're just left with the wood handle. I'm going to wrap the wood handle with the brown yarn. So I tie a knot at one end and just wrap one even layer all the way across. Once you finish wrapping it all the way across, we're going to tie it off on the other end to secure it in place. Now I'm going to make the pom-poms. These are the pom-pom makers that I shared in my previous tutorial that I got from Amazon. I'm going to be using two different sizes and I'm making all of the pom-poms in the smaller size and I'm going to be only making one of the pom-poms. It's going to be a pink one for the very top, I'll explain to you later. Um, but I'm only going to be making one of the larger size pom-poms. So this part right here is basically tying a string through the middle of the two sections and that's to secure it all into place and make it into a pom-pom. And no matter how perfect you wrap them, they always come out some ends longer than others so I always go around the edges to try and even it up. Now I'm going to explain how many pom-poms of each color and size that you need to make for this design. For the pinks, I made five of the smaller size pom-pom and one larger size. Here you can see from my visual people, there are five smaller ones and one larger one. Then we need three brown pom-poms in the smaller size. The next step is to make the tassels. We're going to make five tassels. And I actually ran out of white yarn from Dollar Tree, but I just used another white yarn that I had on hand because I really had my heart set on this color combo. This is the method that I do to make tassels. I always use a can of spray paint and wrap it around. Then you cut it at the bottom. You're going to tie it in the center. And then here, it, I'm showing how I wrap it just like maybe an inch down from the top. And a very important step is to make sure that you even out the bottom. So again, we're making five of these tassels. So once you're done wrapping the handle and making all of the pom-poms and tassels, now we're going to attach them to the strings. And I use an upholstery needle. It's a little bit thicker than a regular size sewing needle. That's what I use to thread the yarn through each tassel and pom-pom. I always tie a knot at the bottom of the thread that I'm putting through the tassel and I tie it about three times just so it doesn't go through the pom-pom so easily. Really suggest if possible to try and look at a picture of the finished product while you're making this so you can try to figure out which goes on each individual thread because it can get confusing if you're not looking at a picture. So the best way that I can describe it is each thread that you start with, we're going to do five of them and you're going to start out by doing the tassel first and I start from left to right so the first string that I did had just one single pink pom-pom after the tassel. Then the second string had one tassel, one pink pom-pom, one brown pom-pom. Then the middle string had one tassel, one pink pom-pom, a small one, one brown pom-pom, and one big pink pom-pom, the only big one that we have. Then the fourth string I did like a mirror of the other side, so it was a tassel, a brown pom-pom, a pink pom-pom, and finally the last string was one tassel and one pink pom-pom. And then I arranged them to be at a similar length going in the shape of a chevron, because that is essentially the shape that we're making with these pom-poms is a chevron. So it's going to be the middle piece would hang down the farthest and then just making sure that the two outer sides are even. We didn't tie anything as far as where the pom-poms are arranged, so it makes it really easy at the end to arrange the pom-poms in the pattern that we want. Last part, I don't do anything special. I just tie it a couple of times so it's secured in place. 
place once I have them all at the desired length. And of course we need a piece to hang it from so I attached some jute twine the same way I just tied it in a knot, a double knot around the ends. And now we are finally done and I just like to arrange all of the pom-poms on the strings accordingly to make the pattern look as best as possible. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and I hope that it inspires you to try it.